Oh, I'm sorry. Hello, everyone, and Merry Christmas, and welcome back to the vault. And on today's episode, it's going to be a very nice Christmas-themed episode. There's only five days left until Christmas, and I'm doing a shopping guide episode for those of you who are still looking for a gift for your loved ones. And I have everything you can imagine, from budgets high and low. So I hope you guys are ready to enjoy the holiday season with me. And I hope you guys are ready for another Christmas. Let's get on with our episode. So let's start at the very bottom. Something that does not break the bank. A budget for those who are on a budget. And what's better than buying a Funko Pop figure? And as you know, Funko Pops are really huge right now. And the really great thing is there's a lot of different uh, variety of characters and stuff that you can get from Funko Pop figures. They have licenses expanding from movies to games to comics to anything you can imagine. And what's best about these is these little dolls for 11 99 are the perfect addition to any Christmas gift stocking or just under the Christmas tree like this Vampire David Target exclusive from the Lost Boys, which is one of my favorite movies and favorite 80s movie of all time Another very good uh, Gift idea is something for those who are gamers um, For those of you who know what amiibos are it is Nintendo's come-to-life toys and uh, if you're a huge Smash Brothers fan like I am, then you have got to pick up a couple of these amazing and very hard to find uh, characters. Now there are some new ones that have came out that are not as hard as this female Corrin, which was impossible unless you ordered it off eBay. And yes, this one was a pretty penny. But it is another perfect gift that you can get your loved one. Now the prices of them do range from $15.99 to $21.99 for the newer models. Uh, you can still get some of the older ones uh, that are re-issuing. Uh, they have brought them back to stores. Uh, there is Mario, Link, uh, Marth, um, and a few others to name. Another really cool uh, item Though they are a lot like Amiibos, but they are not to be used for a game. They are just collectibles. And it is these uh, EBA exclusive uh, figures. I do got a bunch of uh, these Sonic characters because I'm a huge Sonic the Hedgehog fan. And these are a lot cheaper than the Amiibos right now. These are only $11, same as the Funko Pops. For uh, those of you that have gamers in your life, uh, they are amazing, detailed characters. Like I said, these are not to be used for anything. They're just collectibles. Do you have a music fan at home that could use some new vinyl? Now, vinyl records have become very popular again. And the great thing is, is that uh, stores like Sunrise Records are carrying uh, lots of vinyl of uh, past favorites and current uh, new titles. So if you have a fan at home, why not buy him an awesome new record that he can listen to on Christmas morning? And if you're like me, you know that digital sucks. There's nothing better than the sound of fresh vinyl being played. Do you have a loved one in your life that just loves to read? It takes them to a magical world full of different stories and characters that they can fall in love with or relate to. Well then, there are some very awesome options that you can get uh, any type of reader this year. Whether it be some manga, which is Japanese uh, comic books. It is um, stuff that ranges from every type of genre. Uh, I highly recommend Boruto or anything from the Naruto series, which is the uh, prequel to this awesome new series that is out now. Or... If you're like me, you are also a comic book collector. Now, there are very amazing stories out there from past to present, and I'm going to highlight my favorite, uh, Batman to Dark Knight Returns, which is one of the best uh, stories of Batman. And that transitioned into the Batman vs. Superman movie, which, of course, I loved. And this right here is my first edition print, which it is very, very rare. You know, Christmas ain't always about buying that special uh, gift at the store that cost a fortune. It could also be making your own items, as I did with this 
awesome Pikachu that I got at Build-A-Bear Workshop. Now, if you're not familiar with Build-A-Bear Workshop, I did write a blog about it on my official website, which I'll post it down below. But um, this was one gift idea that I thought was really cool. You get to choose everything. You get to choose your character, how much stuff in you want, uh, what you want placed in your stuffed animal. And it's just a really cool thing for people of all ages. What about movies? Are you guys as big of a movie fan as I am? Then you know that there are tons of movies out there that you can choose from. Movies that range from all different types of prices and genres. Something that's there for everyone. And everyone loves movies, right? Right, Dad? Right? Really? Right? I guess not. But there is always a fan out there that loves to have a giant collection like I do. And there are very, very amazing movies that it came out. And I'm going to highlight a few of my favorites. One being Godzilla 3D. Now we have a new Godzilla movie coming out next year uh, that continues the monster universe. It's something that is very affordable to find nowadays. It is very good. The effects are very amazing. And yes, I'm a huge Godzilla fan. I'm sorry. Next, if you have an anime fan at home, then you want to get something that they love. And what's better than getting them Boruto the movie? Now this is the first Boruto movie that has came out. It is the sequel to all the Naruto series that you watch from Naruto to Naruto Shippuden. This is Naruto-san taking his new um, shinobi way. And I think it's a really awesome movie that everyone should get to see. Another very awesome one. This might be my top favorite movie of the year and yes it's another anime movie and it is your name now if you don't know anything about your name i dare you to watch the trailer right now because you will love it it is one of those movies that will make you think make you cry make you happy it has everything it is the most emotional anime movie i've ever seen and i absolutely love it the next one is justice league now this movie i don't care what anybody says i absolutely love it even though uh, I think Josh Whedon kind of destroyed movies, his career has kind of uh, gotten out of hand. I think he, I think he needs to, uh, I think he needs to take a break. Yeah, he needs a break. Now, my favorite movie of the year. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna think it's something, but it's actually not. It is not comic book related, though there are comic book elements to it. My favorite movie of the year is. Ready Player One. Now this has absolutely everything from a gamer to comic book love, 80s love. It has everything in this movie and it was the best movie I think of the year. And it is one of those movies that will become a cult icon. I think it will be huge. People will keep remembering how much they loved seeing this movie in theaters. And uh, can I say that Shining scene was absolutely incredible. Oops, did I spoil the movie? I'm sorry guys. Let's get on with the next. So what would Christmas be like without having game hardware to play all those amazing games that you just unwrapped underneath the tree? I'm going to show you a few of my favorite. First being the new Nintendo 2DS XL. Now there are a lot of amazing games for this system. It is one of my favorite all-time portable systems. And the thing I really love about this is you also have backwards compatibility with all the original DS games. So you have a huge backlog of games that you can purchase this. Uh, and play through all of them. Like I said, there are a lot of amazing games. A shout out right now to Luigi's Mansion, which is one of my favorite uh, GameCube games of all time. It is finally uh, re-released on the Nintendo 3DS. And of course, this system does play all the 3DS games. It does not have 3D playback, so this will not have the 3D effect like the original one, uh, but it does play all the games in 2D. So this is one I highly recommend. I also recommend you do pick up a Nintendo Switch. Now the Nintendo Switch has taken off. It is an amazing system. It is both portable and a home console. You're getting two for the price of one, which to me, it makes a lot of sense because I do a lot of traveling. I love to take my Switch everywhere I go. Uh, and it has such a huge library of games that are coming out. There's a lot of amazing titles. We have a lot of third party support this time around, unlike the uh, Wii U did. And I think next year is going to be a huge year for Nintendo. So I know a lot of you, you have a lot of young kids, a lot of adults. 
that are really, really wanting the Switch to play all every type of game. And I know all of you are playing Super Smash Brothers, except me. I want to play Super Smash Brothers, guys, but I have to wait until Christmas. And hopefully I do have it for Christmas. Or not, I have to go out Boxing Day and pick up that game for Christmas. Uh, you know, as a sort of present for myself. So we are almost at the end of our show and we are finally down to what really matters, video games. Now there are a lot of amazing video games this year and I know a lot of you are going to expect me to include Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu or Super Smash Brothers, but I'm keeping that one out of the light this time. I want to show you games that are not, um, maybe not really known or haven't been advertised as much, but I absolutely ad adored. And if you have a gamer who is more retro than he is current gen, there are a few games that you can pick up and a few stores that you can get that. Uh, GameStop uh, doesn't really have much anymore. Uh, but there is Game Cycle here in London. There are two locations that you can pick it up. Uh, Jumbo Video is very good for buying retro games. Um, and, you know, you can always try your luck at thrift stores and stuff like that. Uh, garage sales, uh, Kijiji, eBay. There's lots of stuff. But with five days, you're kind of limited down there. And I got a few that you should, you know, pick up and enjoy them for yourselves. Now first, there is this amazing Gundam game that I got for the Game Boy. Uh, no, no, don't, 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 don't bother with that game. That game sucks. Uh, I don't have no idea what the hell I'm supposed to do in that game, but it sucks. Moving on. How about Sonic and Knuckles? Now, Sonic is my favorite franchise of all time. I love Sonic the Hedgehog. And I remember when I first got Sonic and Knuckles and being able to connect... Uh, part one to three on this and play as Knuckles through all my favorite games uh, was a miracle. Amazing game. If you guys do find a copy, make sure you pick it up. Now, this one I did get for a pricey tag, but uh, you never know. You might actually find it pretty cheap. I'll let you guys, you know, good luck on that. Another one would be Jack Brothers for the Virtual Boy. Yes, you know that I've been a huge fan of Virtual Boy. I picked one up earlier this year, and I've been picking up all the games for Virtual Boy that I can find. Uh, there's not many, which is pretty good. Uh, there's only a total of 22, or, you know, there's 14 here in North America. Uh, this right here is the Japanese copy of Jack Brothers, because the real copy is worth five to $600. Yeah. It's pretty pricey. Maybe one day, when I get rich, you know. I might buy it when I get rich. But... Virtual Boy is an amazing console if you were able to pick one up like I do. Mine is in mint condition, beautiful, and I still play it to this very day. No, that's not a joke. I actually do play it. It is freaking amazing. But let's get on to the current um, gen systems. Uh, I'm going to show you two that I actually love. You guys know I'm not huge on PlayStation or PS4, but uh, there are a few games that I actually do sit down and play because I do love. Um, first being... Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 Road to Boruto. Now, I was lucky to find this at Walmart uh, here in London. Uh, there's not very many left over. Uh, but for 24 bucks, you do get uh, the original part 4 of the game. Uh, and you also get the DLC that's included in the game. You don't have to download it. Of Road to Boruto, which is the Boruto storyline from the movie that I showed you guys earlier. And uh, it is one of my favorite fighting games of all time uh, and favorite anime of all time. Highly recommend it. $24.99. Can't go wrong if you guys still do find it at Walmart. I, I urge you to buy it. It might be in their bargain bin, so you have to do some searching. Next up is a game that I didn't expect to like. It's one of those games that shocked me because I wasn't sure at first. I saw a whole bunch of reviews, a whole bunch of videos, but I'm very happy I picked it up. I also picked up all the pop figures of the game because I absolutely love it. It is Nino Kune 2. Now this is a very Studio Jubilee style video game. Uh, the character art is beautiful, the soundtrack is absolutely incredible, and the story so far has been so good, and I'm so addicted to playing this game that I really have to get back into it as soon as I can because it is amazing. And for $39.99, brand new, at Walmart, it is a pretty good price. I suggest if you never played this type of game before, uh, it is very easy to get used to. 
Uh, there, you don't really have to know much about the story since it is a completely new story. So part one, if you didn't get it, it doesn't matter because I didn't get through it either. I didn't play it. Uh, I'm very happy I picked this up though. Very awesome, underrated game uh, that you should guys should pick up. That is Owl Boy. Now this game was uh, originally a digital download and then it released on uh, physical media. Uh, which, of course, I purchased. I didn't bother wasting because I think digital sucks uh, and should be stopped. But Owlboy is one of those games that you wouldn't expect to love, but you can't put it down. And it's one of my favorite games. It is Sonic Mania Plus. Now, this is an amazing game and probably one of the best Sonic games in the past 10 to 12 years, I want to say. Uh, this game is amazing because it is 2D style like the old Sonic games. It is a rebirth of past courses and new stuff, and it is done by a company that is really not Sega, guys. I wasn't expecting to love, but I absolutely adored it, and I think that everybody should play this, and it is Shining Residence Reframe. Now, this is an amazing art action RPG game uh, that I'm absolutely loving the story of, of, the, of it. It plays so beautifully. Um... And those of you who have played either the Tales games or the uh, Xenoblade uh, Chronicle games, this is a lot like it, though a little different at times. Um, and the best thing about this, guys, you're a dragon. You can turn into a dragon and kick some ass. So if you bought a Switch and you had that one member that of the family that just really likes to play classic games, I highly recommend that you buy Namco Museum Arcade. And of course, it has a lot of uh, Pac-Man packed into this. You have other games of the arcade days. You have Galaga. You have uh, a few others that I've never played myself, uh, but I've been playing it now. Um, and one of the best ones that I really love is Splatterhouse. I never got a chance to play that before. It is literally Jason going around and killing stuff. And this is a must-have for your new system. And that is Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. This is an amazing game, a collaboration between Nintendo and Ubisoft, and it's something that I didn't expect to see, but it is available. Um, you do play uh, as either Mario, Luigi, or Toadstool, or you can play as the uh, Rabbits characters dressed up as the main characters, which is pretty cool. Uh, there are a lot of cool stuff that you can do in this game. There is DLC available. And now you can actually buy this uh, this game in stores that comes bungled with one of the Rabbits characters. Uh, cool statuette, which is pretty cool. And if you guys love to collect stuff like, uh, like I do, it's well worth it. For the same price of paying for the game itself, you can get the bungle. You're getting extra for the price, so I don't see why you guys wouldn't get that. So one game I didn't think I was going to love as much as I do and I feel so sorry because I haven't had much time to get back into it and play and it's one of those things where it's I want to it's just something always comes up and that is Octopath Traveler from Square Enix now this is an absolutely incredible game if this it is you're going to be your first Switch game you have over a hundred hours of gameplay in here now this is another game that kind of like rent under the radar and I feel so sorry for it because it is the best title out there. It is probably the best game of the year. Um, whether it doesn't matter what system you what system you have, uh, it is the best game of the year. And the best thing about this is that it is an exclusive. It is exclusively on this Nintendo Switch. And yes, you're gonna ha hear a lot of people crying that you know it should be for other systems, it should be for this exclusives sell systems guys you need to have exclusives or else your system is worthless look at xbox now another game that it's on this list and it uh, is uh <clears throat> created by bandai namco yes bandai namco has had an amazing year for video games and this is one game that i keep going back into i've loved Loved it since I picked it up on October 27th. That's how much I love it. I remember the date it came out. It is absolutely incredible. My favorite, favorite fighting game. And that is My Hero 1's Justice. 
Now this takes place from the anime My Hero Academia. It is amazing, it is super popular at the moment, and it is another game that is fallen under the radar. I don't know why it's fallen under the radar. It is amazing. It is just as good as the Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Story games. As you know, those are my favorite games of all time. I absolutely love them and I will play them all the time. Um, and this game improves on some of the stuff uh, that it's different than the Naruto games. The, the game style is a little different. Same but different in a way. Uh, you don't get very many characters like we are just entering the fourth season of the show uh, so you know we were kind of limited to characters not that they won't come out you know later on with DLC we already have two DLC characters um, three if you're including Deku uh, you can play his two different styles using his fists or the downloadable character where you're using his feet uh, which I don't want to spoil the anime if you haven't seen it uh, but my Hero Wants Justice is the best fighting game of this uh, of this year. I highly recommend that you guys pick this up, try it for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick, quick, you know, put together of cool stuff that you can buy. Remember, you guys got four days until Christmas. Four days, guys. So I hope you guys, you know, have a very merry Christmas, and uh, you know, for those who don't celebrate, happy holidays. Um, and I hope you guys have a safe one. And you know, enough of the gift cards, guys. Get out there. You know, I've given you some stuff uh, to help you purchase, you know, things for loved ones. Um, I, I just find that gift cards are a very cheap and just kind of thrown together thing that you do to get rid of someone. Um, I like to see the joy in people's face when they open up my gifts. And I hope you guys, you know, take a bit of that and put it in your own lives. It's one of those things where it's Christmas, it's sharing, guys. Show the loved ones how much you love them and get them to smile. Bring out the inner kid in them because that's how, you know, life is. You want to make life amazing. And who doesn't want to be, you know, years younger again, right? <laughs>